FY18 for us has been highly successful. We've, uh, as a software as a service company, if you look at the SaaS metrics we've achieved, we've gone from 1.1 up to 3.6 million of annual recurring revenue, and we have over 1 million women in the US now coming into our services. And that's been set against a backdrop of, of, um, of flat costs over the year, which is one of our aims. But also it's been very gratifying to start seeing these uh, software as a service metrics start to be visible uh, in terms of accounting revenue. So the accounting revenue for the year is up 53% to just under 3 million. Based on those numbers and the gross margin of course uh, that we've got has increased from 60 uh, free up to 70%, so that really shows we've got a very scalable business. So set against those metrics, uh, the year ended for us with a very successful, uh, pretty straightforward capital raise of 20 million, uh, which has really given us now the far power to go on and dominate the US market, uh, increase the price we can get per woman by pulling forward through uh, more products and uh, really help us launch more seriously into Asia. We decided to work uh, this year with Morgan, who have been our long-term supporter and Bell's partner, um, to raise uh, what we targeted was 15 million originally uh, from institutions, plus 3 million in a share placement plan. The 15 million uh, was oversubscribed from institutes in the UK, Hong Kong, uh, Australia and New Zealand, which was very uh, satisfying to see. And then the share placement plan was $3 million uh, but we actually ended up receiving over $12 million of bids for those who had to very significantly scale that back uh, just like we did with the institutions. The 20 million capital raise we've just done and dusted uh, is going to be used in three ways. One is to really go after the US market. We've got seven people effectively on the ground there at the moment. We intend to, to double that sales force and to really try and own the US market. We were targeting a 9% market share by the end of the year. Uh, two, we want to increase the price we get per woman by increasing the products that we're offering and really putting through some new ideas that we've got all the way through to commercialisation, revenue recurrence and then to sell to the customers, both upselling to our existing customers of course and to new customers. And three, we want to uh, better penetrate Asia, which is a hot in. We've seen a lot of interest across Asia, we just need to, to get some serious resources into opening it up. Pyro's got real momentum now in the US, which is the world's biggest medical device market. And we've got uh, around 3.2% of the women being screened uh, coming into our software currently. We're targeting to 9% of those women this year, which will equate to around New Zealand $9 million of annual recurring revenue. Once we get to those kind of numbers, um, we'll have serious momentum in the US, and it's not unusual to get uh, market shares of 20, 30, 40 percent in breast imaging uh, in the US if you get the product right and the momentum and the right people. And I think we're well on track to achieve all of those. And in parallel to that, we are seeking to uh, constantly increase and improve what we do. And I think you, the investors will see that in terms of an ever increasing uh, gross margin. <music>